Namaste everyone, welcome to the 8th episode of TT Talk. My name is Suhas. My name is Kritika. My name is Ritika. My name is Vinay. And we have a special guest. Neil. And yeah. So, a little back info about Neil is that I was from California. Oh, actually, Neil, do you want to just explain how I know you? Um. Uh, we, we were friends back in like 5th, 6th grade up until like 8th grade. When Suaz used to live in California, yeah, and then he moved away. Uh, <laughs> like how do you <laughs> coming? <laughs> how about how, okay, random thing. But how do you get so many coming TikToks? I don't. Oh, I, I don't know. I I got like a couple, and I just sent them all to you, and then they just kept coming up on my for you page because I kept interacting with them. <laughs> okay, yeah, Krito, you want to ask me any questions? Um. So. Tell us about yourself, like, what do you do for fun, or just about yourself? Um, yeah, so I'm a, gonna be a senior, um, I was really into cars until I totaled my car yesterday, so <laughs> now <laughs> no, I saw. Wait, really, what happened? Um, I was just being a dumb ass and spun out and hit a curb, and now my car is dead. Oh, no, okay. You're okay, right? Like, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want to talk um, about your snowboarding snowboarding accident? No. Oh, skiing. Yeah, skiing, I'm into sorry. skiing too. And I got into an accident a couple of years ago, 2019 December, and broke my leg and was in a wheelchair for three months. Oh wow! And you got stitches, right? Yeah, I have a titanium plate and eight screws in my knee. Wow. And there's a big scar that's gonna be there for the rest of my life. That sucks. Okay, Ritika, questions? Um, so where do you live in California? I live in Fremont, California, in the Bay Area, East Bay. Mm -hmm. I heard there's like a lot of brown people in the Bay Area. Right. It is majority Asian. Yeah. Do you like yeah. living in California? Yeah, I... Yeah, I, honestly, I wouldn't want to move out of California. Like, I'd want to live other places just to experience it. But, like, California is perfect. We have, like, the beach. We have mountains. We have deserts. We have, like, we have everything. There's everything here. And it's just perfect here. I, I wouldn't want to, yeah. Okay. He lives right, like, in front of a mountain. Mention Pete. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any questions? So, how did... Uh... You and Suvas meet each other. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that embarrassing? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't remember. I think fifth grade. Fifth grade? Yeah, pretty, I'm pretty sure it was fifth grade. Really, we were in the right? same yeah, class yeah. in fifth grade. Uh-huh. And then... And we became friends. And then that's how we knew Nicholas, too. Oh yeah. Nicholas and Yun. I'm, Wait, uh, after I, you I swear Yun was a crack addict. What? Yeah, like, is was he high? Like, I don't know. No, he's just, he's a really interesting person. I kind of didn't stay friends with him after you moved away, but, um, yeah. Did anyone uh, miss me when I left? He's like, <laughs> he's, Probably not. <laughs> he's stuck in the internet from, like, 2012 still, and still sends memes, like, troll face memes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's a Christian extremist who's kind of homophobic <laughs> and racist and just says really weird things about, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just a really, really, really weird, out-of-touch person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to talk about? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of us, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Neil, are you religious? No. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe yeah, in God? Same. Nope. Like, I do, but like, I'm not like, very religious, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so My I family is like, ritualistic, like we do all the, like, pujas and stuff and all the festivals and everything, but we're not, we don't really believe in that stuff, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Back in ninth grade, I heard you had a girlfriend, Rhea. Yep. Do you want to talk about any, like, dating history, like, that you have in California? 
Okay, maybe um, a better question would okay, be, dog. what is, um, what is dating like being Indian? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, are your parents strict? Like, are they okay with you dating? My, my parents aren't strict, but other people's parents are very, very strict. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you uh, cope with competition? What? How do you cope with competition? Oh, I don't have any, you know, I'm the hottest person I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I love that mindset. I, I pretty much get anyone I want. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. It did like the demographic change at all like since 2018 um yeah when you move to Irvington there's like two more white people in our class now instead of the one that there's I think here it's like 40% I yeah. think it's yeah. like 90% yeah. <laughs> there's so many <laughs> wait white people or Indian? Indians there's no I'm talking about people. white people uh, white people, white people yeah, so like 30 30, 20, yeah. Yeah. And, and 10%. Mm-hmm. How are your pets doing? My pets are doing great. So what, are what pets do you have? I have a cat named Kitty and I have Aww. a dog. <laughs> Kitty, a cat so named Kitty. Kitty. And then a dog named Toto. Aww. A dog named Dog. <laughs> Toto. Toto the dog. Toto the dog. <laughs> Toto the dog and Kitty the cat. Both are great. I like your dog's name. Yeah, I like my dog's name too. That's why we named him that. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you Telugu? Yeah, are you Thalu- Thalu- Like what language? I'm Marathi. Oh, Marathi. Interesting. And I think your you said your dad was from the east, and then your mom's from the west, right? Other way around. But Other yeah, way around. my my dad's Marathi and my mom's Bengali. Mm-hmm. Oh. His mom was so chill. Really? Honestly. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, Indian culture here, it's pretty, like, it's, like, the stereotypical stuff, right? Like, all, everyone's competitive and yeah, just, yeah, it's, like it's le- less so where I live, but still pretty, like, mm-hmm. yeah, kind of toxic, but mm-hmm. another thing I've noticed is that, like, people will, like, do tons and tons of shit like tons of extracurriculars and go to like a bunch of classes and stuff and then when you ask them about like what they're doing over the summer they're like oh nothing i'm not doing anything oh, yeah Those people are like yeah. secretive about it mm-hmm. yeah they they like they don't want other people doing the same stuff that they're doing or uh-huh. something like yeah they're just yeah i feel like it's like that over here that too stuff. everyone's like here. yeah Mm-hmm. So are you doing, did you do anything like cool over the summer? Uh, I went on a sailing trip to the Channel Islands. Oh yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And you, st- you stream a lot, right? I what? Stream? I mean not stream, but like play games. Did I turn that on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like into PC gaming kind of been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege and Cyberpunk and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you have a question? Just ask something. Yeah. Ask me questions. Yeah. You invited me on the mm-hmm. inter- on the. So, so what university are you playing to? Um, yeah, attend? since you're a senior. What? What university are you planning to attend? Oh, just all the UCs and CSUs. Are UCs test blind? Yeah, so That's all awesome. the all the California schools, everything I'm applying to is all test blind now. So I took the SAT, it got like put I was, I meant to take the SAT in November and then it got postponed three times wow. until eventually our school hosted an SAT and we all like everyone at school took it there, but the waiting was like the curve was terrible. Mm-hmm. So I got three questions wrong on the entire um, math section that brought my score down 90 points. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's actually terrible. <laughs> yeah. The curve. So, no, but that just means usually, a lot of people did good. Yeah. yeah. yeah usually I mean, yeah, if the, the curve, curve is bad, then the test yeah. questions were easy. Yeah, because three wrong yeah. is, is pretty good to score. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now I can't even use that score because all the schools I'm applying to are test blind. So mm-hmm. no I'm fine. Why do you apply to out of state? 
What? Do you, do you want to apply to out of state? Uh, not really. It's more expensive, and it's not California, so it's oh. <laughs> yeah. I I I was thinking about like UW in Washington or like Portland or something, like staying on the West Coast. Mm-hmm. But California schools are just cheaper and better, so there's no reason. Yeah. Have you been to the East Coast? Yeah, I've been a couple of times. I've been to Florida a few times, and I went to New York and Pennsylvania a few years ago. I and I've been to D.C. a couple of times. I haven't been it's to the West Coast, so... Yeah, I'm, 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 I like it here better than there. It's... I mean, maybe you're a little biased, but sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a little biased because I go there in the summer, and it's like 110 degrees there, and I come back, and it's like 70-something here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come to Georgia. Yeah. yeah have you been to, to Georgia? to Georgia? I have not been to Georgia. Hmm. What do you think about Georgia? Like, <laughs> do you think of peaches? Honestly, honestly, before Suhas moved there, I didn't even know that Indian people lived there. Oh, no, yeah. There's, like, yeah. so many Indians here in, like, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought, like, where is he moving out to, like, Kentucky or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, New Jersey also has a lot of yeah, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah, New Jersey, you know, like, Edison or whatever. Edison, yeah. So all the lot. Indian mm-hmm. people there. But yeah, even even you guys say you guys have a lot of Indian people, but I don't think it's anything compared to here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like over here, it's a white min- minority. Fremont <laughs> has seventy percent Asian or something now. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wait, that's it? I thought there would be more. <laughs> yes, seventy percent Asian is like the total population at the schools. It's all like the new people who have moved here, so it's a lot more okay, than yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, that's- so, do you think, like, the schools could be improved, in, like, in any way? Yeah, yeah, the schools here are sh- <laughs> Like, the, the facilities we have are just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the schools here rely a lot on parent donations. So you'll see, like, our engineering classroom and our computer science classrooms. Our engineering classroom has 13 3D printers and, like, a bunch of CNC machines and a whole fleet of thousand dollar drones wow from all parent donations right so are the schools public or private yeah yeah they're they're public schools it's a public school and so those are the facilities for like the engineering classroom and the computer science classroom is all a bunch of brand new imax like five thousand dollar each for a class of 30 and then the rest of the school gets like the chromebooks and stuff and (laughs) chairs Yeah, so our funding is just terrible. We only get good facilities when parents donate. Yeah. And the only parents that donate are the rich Asian parents who only donate to the subjects that they like. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they can do that? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I asked about school. So we're supposed to be an art magnet school, which means, like, our classes cater more towards art classes. Like, we can not take language, a foreign language, the whole time we're in high school and only take art classes we have a bunch of band classes we have a bunch of theater classes we're one of the only schools in fremont that has a theater but the facilities that they have are just terrible like really old music stands and we never get any new instruments (laughs) in band and the theater is just yeah Mm -hmm. okay so you how you know um What's the movie theater in like next to Costco in that area? So yeah, the Century. Yes, yeah, Century. Yeah, Century. Um, like I'm pretty sure they have like the like more Telugu and like Indian movies than they have English movies, right? <laughs> what? Like oh, uh, Century, they have a they lot have of like Telugu and like Indian movies. I've heard they they yeah they started it now they. I think it's like only in the mornings on certain days they have in the like. <laughs> Are you sure? So because I watched like, a lot of like those like Indian movies when I was there. There. Yeah. So like my my grandparents used to go to the theater every like I forget which day it was, but like early in the mornings it's like senior discount, so older people get discounts there, and the only old people living here are Indian 
grandparents. So they're all Indian movies at the theaters in the mornings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you watched a Telugu movie before? Have I watched what? A Telugu movie. Have you seen Bahubali? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, um so this is a weird question. Not a weird question, but like how like what's the average cost of a house in California? California, I'm pretty sure. It's over a million. Yeah. What? Uh, in California, I'm not too sure. Like in Fremont. Fremont. Yeah, um, in Fremont, it's well over a million, like one point five probably. Yeah. That's a lot. But like, yeah. it's brought down by. So. I feel like real estate is selling everywhere. They have a new Bart. Um, they have a new Bart. Uh, station yeah. in Warm Springs now. And they built a bunch of new condo complexes around it. Okay, and wait, wait, wait. One sec. Can you explain what Bart is? Oh, Bart is like the... It's like Marta. The transit. Oh. Oh. The area train rapid transit. transit. It's just a train system. Really shitty train system that goes around the <laughs> Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so they built a new station near where I live. And it used to just be a bunch of grasslands for like cows grazing and stuff and now they have a bunch of condos for asian people living there and they're building a new school in that condo complex and each of those condos is over a million dollars and bigger than my house <laughs> so like 2500 square foot condos for 2 million dollars mm-hmm. so, right outside like suburban neighborhoods okay so, in your opinion, do you think Fremont is, like, experiencing overpopulation? I, yeah, I would think so. Actually, I, I think it could be handled better. Like, what, what, what we have now is we have a lot of homeless people in Fremont, and we don't have any low-income housing. We're just building more and more super-rich housing. Mm-hmm. All the free space we have is just being built up with super high income apartment complexes Mm -hmm. and condos and stuff and the houses that we have now have gone up like Mm -hmm. 300 percent in the last 20 years i guess like i moved here in 2004 um like a few months after i was born we bought this house for 800 back then now it's closer to 2.4 and it's not even like a big nice house or something like it's a decent sized house but we're like on a main road on a two-lane road yeah your house is probably like half the house of houses here yeah and yeah. i'm not even like a, in a nice like location like i'm not in a cul-de-sac or something okay. i'm not up on a hill wait wait neil is your house 1600 square foot like around um i'd say 2000 something maybe mm-hmm. but still pretty small yeah, it's not it's not huge. We had an extension recently. We redid our house. We added like a couple hundred square feet, but yeah, that didn't add to the cost of the house mm-hmm. really. But like, I have a house right behind my house, yeah. which is like three times the size, and that's almost five million now. Mm-hmm. And so, like, yeah, I live on the edge of a really really rich neighborhood, and so like. All the old people who used to live here, like all the old white people are moving out and just being bought up by Asian families, like Chinese people, Ch- Chinese immigrants and like Indian immigrants will come here and pay pay for houses all in cash. Like they'll buy mm-hmm. out $2 million yeah. just mm-hmm. cash. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's, okay. Um, so I see on your Instagram stories how you work at KFC. Yeah. And you, it's a really, like... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, is there, like, a prom- pro- like a problem finding employment there for a high schooler? Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not too sure. I mean, all my friends have jobs, and it's not really that hard to find a job. Mm-hmm. It's just that this job, they gave me the job on the spot, and I didn't really feel like looking for a job after that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And... Like, I'm, when I moved, before I moved here, there was, like, a pretty decent amount of, like, Asian restaurants and, like, centers. 
Um, do you think that way more like Asian type restaurants like Boba opened up there, or is it still the same? Yeah, it's it's gone up. Yeah, there's definitely like there's not too many other kinds of restaurants. Like there was a barbecue place near me recently that turned into a South Indian vegetarian dosa place. Now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's definitely being to, tailored towards Asian Americans. Yeah, it's yeah, it's catering towards the people who live here now. There's just tons of bobo places and tons of ramen places and mm-hmm. Indian restaurants and Asian restaurants opening up. Okay, so have you seen like, tr- I'm I'm like traditional like white families like up like up what's it called like say no to this or like prevent this in any way. Say that again. Like, okay, I'm just going to say Karen. Karen, yeah. So, <laughs> like, are there more experiences of Karens there? Not really. I mean, I'm, I think it might have gone down, actually. Like, we're kicking those, those kinds of people out. <laughs> we can't afford to live here anymore, and they're just leaving. Yikes. Like, it's more, it's more affordable for someone who doesn't have kids in school to just sell their house and move to, like, Davis or something. Like, somewhere not in the Bay Area. Like, Fremont and all these, like, East Bay and South Bay, especially, like, Cupertino and all, those places are all, um, like, populated by people with kids in school. So, like, they, they live there for the schools, and that's why the housings are so expensive, because the schools are so good in the South Bay, at least. But mm-hmm. once those people like graduate and they don't have kids in school it just there's no reason for them to keep living there because yeah the the housing is just really dense and not so nice it doesn't cater towards older people anymore so it's kind of just all the old white people who used to live here are just selling their houses and moving away now so what kind of music do you listen to ah Lately, I've been getting into Tyler the Creator a lot. Anything um, else? Do you listen to Indian music? No, I don't listen to Indian music. Wait, do you like Indian food? Um, yeah. Food. I'm, I'm a normal, I'm a normal Fremontian person. I don't. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Do you eat Indian food at home? Oh yeah. Yeah, I have my grandparents living with me, so we, well, not even just because of that, but yeah, all, all the meals we have at home are Indian food, except for like rare occasions where we'll, we'll make some. Bro, this guy eats like chicken pot pies every day at lunch. <laughs> chicken pot pies. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to have the Marie Callender's Safeway chicken pot pies for lunch every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and the, uh, there's like a like grocery like store difference from there compared to here. Like, I don't think oh, I've seen a... Y'all don't have Safeways, right? We don't have Safeways, and I don't think you guys have Kroger's. Wait, what are Safeways? Yeah. It's like Kroger's. It's oh. just, yeah, it's just a... Yeah, so... I, I think... L- yeah, I think... Yeah, okay, or something, too. Do you guys have Publix there? Yeah, yeah we have yeah. Publix. Yeah, we don't yeah, have that here. We just have Safeway, no, Trader like Joe's, and Apple Foods and stuff. I haven't been You guys have Ingles? We have Ingles. Do we have what? Ingles. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been. Are there any of their other stores that are like? Um, oh, there's like oh, no Chick Fil A's there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, no, sucks. they've actually opened a couple. There's like two and two in Fremont, I think now. Two Chick Fil A's. Oh, In and Out. We don't have In and Out. Oh, In and Out. That's a major one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in and Out's actually expanding now. There's like a couple in Texas and like Arizona and stuff. Yeah, but not here. I mean, in Atlanta, like yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, in and out honestly, I don't, I don't get the hype that much. It's like... No, like, Indian people can't eat anything I there. I mean, I don't eat it's all beef. Way. It's beef, yeah. Do you guys eat beef? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't Wait, do, do you, you eat you? beef? Sometimes. Yeah. Like, I don't know, mm-hmm. with friends. I mean, yeah. My parents don't really care. in and out is definitely not oriented towards um, Asian Americans. Or Indians, specifically. Yeah, yeah, but this shows the Oh, okay. Um, have you noticed like more Indian teachers being hired at these schools? Really? Have you? Notice what? Like, have you seen more Indian teachers being hired? Like, people doing drugs? 
No. <laughs> no, 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 teachers like that teach at your school. Teachers, like at Horner. The Indian teachers. <laughs> oh, Indian teachers. Oh, um, let me think. I had freshman year, I had no Indian teachers. Sophomore year, I had one Indian teacher. And then this last junior year, I didn't have any Indian teachers, so I don't, I don't think so. But there's a lot of sub, like substitute teachers. A lot of substitute. Teachers. Yeah, yeah, you might, say, yeah. So, yeah, there's a, there's a few, I guess, Indian substitute teachers. So I think that the substitute teachers is like, like guys who move here and bring their wives here, and then their wives pick up a job and like they were a teacher back in India so they become a teacher here too or something like that yeah and like so like substitute this? teacher is <laughs> how they get their learning hours to become a teacher so I think yeah I think in the coming years there might be a lot more Indian teachers mm-hmm. yeah. just from like substitutes graduating mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. definitely definitely okay. there's still some like teachers Asian teachers like um Chen. Yeah, definitely yeah. a lot of Asian teachers, but not so much Indian. Like, uh, like Chinese and yeah, Chinese more mm. so than any other kind of teachers. Any other kind of Asian. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I th- I think we asked every all the questions. Yeah, we had. it was good talking to you. Yeah, Thank good. you yeah, for right. joining. Yes. Right, I'll give you a call later in the evening. All right. Oh, oh, maybe. Yes, thanks okay. for joining. Bye, Neil. Thank you. Right. See ya. It was nice talking to you guys. Yeah. See you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So that was Neil. Um, we talked to some, um, we included someone with a background from California, which is one of the most Asian populated states in the U.S. And I hope that gives you another perspective of like Asian Americans living in the U.S. and expand that to a global perspective so and what it's like being indian living here Mm -hmm. so yeah thank you guys for listening to this um podcast and join us for the next one Bye. bye bye